If you like these videos and you want to see them early, before they go up on YouTube, head over to Library. It's a free open source and distributed alternative to YouTube, and I absolutely love it. I'm excited to share Lenovo is moving to certify the full workstation portfolio for top Linux distributions from Ubuntu and Red Hat. Every model, every configuration. That's just exciting, isn't it? Now, I know that there are a lot of people out there, a lot of people watching this show, who would prefer to configure their own PC uh, with Linux. Uh, it seems Lenovo is aware of that fact. While many users prefer to customize their own machines, either on hardware without an OS or by wiping an existing client OS, then configuring and installing Linux, this can raise uncertainty with system stability, restricted performance, capability, end user productivity, and even IT support for devices. And you know, this is something that we actually talked about last video. Uh, click the link up here in the corner. <laughs> to ensure an effortless Linux experience, Lenovo workstations will work intuitively with the host Linux OS and offer full end-to-end -end support. From security patches and updates to better secure and verify hardware drivers, firmware, and BIOS optimizations. What's more, Lenovo will also upstream device drivers directly to the Linux kernel to help maintain stability and compatibility throughout the life of the workstation. I can't be the only one who's taken an old laptop and, and uh, slapped Linux on it and restored it to like awesome, perfect working order. Yeah, well, that's what Lenovo's doing, except they're doing it at the highest level that they possibly can. That's really cool. So here's the deal. They're committing all of their device drivers to the Linux kernel. They are committing to, to customers to allow them to choose Red Hat, Enterprise Linux, or Ubuntu LTS pre-installed on their machines. They are pledging full web support for Linux machines across their entire workstation portfolio. They're providing forms specifically for Linux users on their website. They are offering configuration guidance and more. Uh, that's super duper exciting. All of this is for their ThinkPad P and their ThinkStation workstation line of uh, machines. And uh, I, they're not paying me to talk about this. I just think that this is really cool. <laughs> now, if you watched my previous video, you'll probably be like, but I thought you said Linux was more fun on machines that don't support Linux, which is absolutely true. I stand by that statement 100%. But at the same time, if we're looking to make Linux converts, which truthfully is like the whole reason I started this channel to begin with, then I believe the way to do that is to actually ship hardware with Linux pre-installed on it. I've talked about this numerous times on the channel. Most normal people have no concept of what an operating system is. They don't care to learn what an operating system is. And personally, I don't think that that's a lamentable fact. I think it's uh, an inevitability of human nature. <laughs> I mean, how many people care to understand the intricacies of their car? All that they care about is that it works. And if it doesn't work for them, they take it to a mechanic and get it fixed. Same goes for their PCs. And all the evidence is there to point to these facts. From the failure of Windows Phone to the adoption of iOS or Android to even the mass adoption of Chromebooks, there is very little doubt that this is how we penetrate the market with desktop Linux. The, the fact that people don't care about what operating system is being run on their machine, all that they care about is that they're able to get their work done. So with all that being true, it's heartening to see Lenovo step up their game, even if these are just enterprise notebooks uh, and, and workstations at the moment. So we now have options from massive OEMs like Dell and HP and Lenovo. Lenovo stepping up their game here is truly awesome to see. And we also have truly excellent dedicated Linux hardware manufacturers like System76, Purism, you know, there's a whole bunch of Linux computer manufacturers. I wanna know what you guys think. Do you think that this is a positive step in the right direction for the OEM uh, industry, the, the computer manufacturing industry? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you guys think about this. I wanna give a special shout out to Sheldon Halcom. Sheldon, my dude, you're one of my top tier Singularity members and I truly appreciate your support. Uh, I wanna thank everybody else over on Patreon as well. Without them, I would not be able to do the show that I do here today. If you believe in what I do, consider heading over to Patreon and chipping in a buck or two. It really makes a difference. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, my friends. Thank you for watching. As always, I really appreciate your guys being here and continuing to watch my fun little silly videos. I wanna apologize that this is yet again another short video. Uh, going through some life stuff at the moment, so uh, I hope you can forgive the fact that I recorded a bunch of videos at once and I'm releasing them over the course of a couple uh, days. 
So thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for understanding. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.